Well, welcome on this chilly December morning. Today we're doing um, a craft, any kind of craft. This is a great craft for you to do with your kids. It's super easy, it's non-toxic, and it is a fresco. It's a fresco um, a product from Fusion. This fresco right here, mixed with picket fence for a white, I want that white snowy feeling. And what I have done is I have just mixed up the fresco um, in about half a pint of the picket fence. I'm, I'm gonna say four scoops of this fresco. So I wanted it fairly thick. It's like the texture of um, sour cream, thin sour cream. So that's what you want. Uh, it gives you great coverage on whatever you're painting. And it's a wet sanding effect. So basically I'm gonna put this on I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to wet sand it off. So that will be on the video. Um, and you can do anything. Like this happens to be a little tree, sawmill tree that Andy made. So I'm just going to slap it on here and I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to put it on the face of it. Actually, no, I'm going to put it on some of it on the tips as well. So it looks kind of like snowy. And this is just one of those incredibly easy but very effective crafts. If you've done any of the clock workshops, this is the same product that, we're that we use on the face of the clock and the same method, the wet sanding method. And uh, I'm just going to let that dry. And I'm, doing, I'm just making something with these old sock stretchers. I'm doing the same thing over here, putting it on. And I've done a couple already, and I'm just doing another couple. And that's going to be part of my craft for today. So you'll have to watch long enough to see what I'm doing. What I'm doing over here is I'm leaving the, the toes and the heels and the top of the sock. And you'll see why later. And you can see how quickly this goes on. And it's really good coverage because it's fresco. Picket fence is usually terrible coverage, but with the fresco in it, all of a sudden, it's much better. And I'm just slapping it on here. That's what I'm doing. And it doesn't matter how it goes on because most of it is coming off. Or a lot of it's coming off. Not, you know, I'm, it's going to end up being a sort of a distressed look. So that's it. That's it done for my four stocking stretchers. And I'm just going to let those dry. This, by the way, keeps good for a long time. It keeps good for at least two weeks. And um, then you can easily, like it doesn't even harden or anything. And then you can just reuse it. You can keep using it for, I don't know how long. I've had it sometimes for a month or so in between clock workshops and it's just fine. Okay, I have actually done two coats of the picket fence fresco on either side of these sock stretchers. One coat on the tree, because it's rough, it just covered a lot better. And now it's time for the wet sanding. I've done two of them already. You can see it makes a mess. So make sure you protect your surfaces and it's gonna be messy, but that's okay. It's fun. You will need blue shop towel. You can't use the regular paper towel because it just falls apart, but blue shop towel has to be wet. So this is um, a basin of water and one of our sanding sponges. And these are great because you can get them wet and this is a wet sanding technique. You, it doesn't really work with regular sandpaper because the sandpaper just falls apart. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do one of these. It's very, very simple. You just sand. You just sand with water, lots of water. And what I'm trying to do is kind of distress the edges a little bit. The fresco makes the paint super hard. And so it's very difficult to do this without wet sanding, like you could try doing it with a sander. I guess that would work. But there's something about the wet sanding because it sort of reveals the wood. It's a really lovely technique. So here's my wet blue towel and I'm just gonna hold this. And it, you just bring it back and all of a sudden, you get this really cool distressed look. And that's what we do in our in the clock workshops when we have them. I'm just, I'm just smudging out the solid lines a bit because I don't want it to be too, too perfect, too solid. 
and then again wipe it off and you get a very nice distressed look. I'm going to be doing the little Christmas tree next because I'll show you what that's like. This is very rough wood. So I'm, for this one, I'm going to use the harsher side and bring it back to the wood. This definitely takes more effort. But I, I want the grain to come through. see but it's really interesting the way that the grain comes out. I'm going to try the other side. Oh this one's better. I honestly think the other side is a bit too dry. You don't want to wait too long for wet sanding. It does harden to concrete. Yeah this is exactly what I was looking for. That kind of a distressed look on the wood. So you can do this you can use this technique on anything if you want to do a distressed look. It's actually really interesting and so, so fast. Super quick. I'm all about the super quick. Okay, now I'm doing the, uh, the other side with the other one. And again, just a very, very quick technique. No preparation required for the wood whatsoever. I didn't clean it, I didn't do anything. But because I just want it to look kind of rustic and distressed. So again with the wet, soaking wet blue towel, and you just wipe it back. And you keep going until you get the look that you want. Like here, I just want to do a bit more on the toe part. Yeah. And smooth this out a little bit. I'm loving it. This is going to be a nice a nice craft. I'm not revealing yet what it is, but it's going to be nice. Okay, my sock forms are dry, distressed and dry. Not terribly dry, but dry enough to stencil. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of decorative stenciling using the Fusion Metallic Vintage Gold. And I just put that onto a little piece of cardboard. And because these stencils are kind of small, I'm not actually going to bother taping them down. I'm just going to hold them really tight. See what happens. I'm going to put Happy Holidays on this one. And something else on the other one. So stenciling, very little paint. You knock off almost all the paint. Very little paint. Got lots of pressure. We have done this before. So I finished stenciling and then I also hot glued the tops together but so the hole at the top is lined up but basically that's kind of what they look like now. They're really cute and I'm going to finish it by putting in just a little bow, a little fake bow. And I made a burlap bow and strung up some of these little jingle bells. I'm just going to wire it through that hole. it at the back and then basically here you go. A really cute way of recycling socks as stretchers and that's going to hang on the door. I finished the other side because I was thinking of hanging it in the shop window which is glass and I wanted the other side to be kind of finished. So yeah this is such a fast and easy craft and effective. Hopefully you can do, it, do something like that yourself. If you don't have sock stretchers, it works on anything, any kind of shape. 
Um, you can do Christmas trees or whatever you want, snowman, it all works. The stenciling is really easy, but completely optional. You don't have to do that. And like I said, the supplies, the fresco, the paint, the vintage gold, um, all of the blue towels, your sandpaper is all available at the store Pepperwood Design. Happy holidays.